Can you see? Members of veterans groups pushing the button to light up the Mount Diablo beacon in Danville. It's a rare sight in honor of those who've answered the call to serve, like retired Army Colonel Alan Callan. Most veterans will say it was an honor serving the country. The beacon only shines three times a year, Pearl Harbor Day, Memorial Day, and Veterans Day. So future generations will remember their sacrifices. Veterans Day is about, is about um, honoring the veterans. Dennis Stogner served 18 months in Vietnam, repairing helicopters like this Huey. They flew all day and all night, and doing maintenance on them was very limited. Uh, you'd rush in, try and get something done, and get it back in the air as soon as possible. In San Jose, a Veterans Day parade, bringing together all ages to salute those who've served. Thank you for all the veterans and the sacrifices they made for the country. The USS Hornet Museum in Alameda has a storied history dating back to World War II. The strategic imperative rings true today as it did back in World War II. The aircraft carrier's crew would go on to recover the first men to walk on the moon, returning from the Apollo 11 mission. The astronauts' first footprints back on Earth are outlined on the ship today. Vice Admiral Daniel Dwyer, an Alameda native, aboard Saturday to honor his fellow service members. It's a day for us to remember the sacrifice and service of so many Americans that have served our United States military. The Hornet is celebrating its 80th anniversary of being commissioned at its 25th year as a museum, keeping history alive. Remember the veterans. Take a moment and thank them. Thank you, Ross. Thank you very much. I would like to thank everyone.